on arrival at Thorntree 30 years ago nearly now. We had this dry stone wall built by Erwin Campbell, which has divided up the big flat area that we had and is a wonderful windbreak. And I have troughs underneath all the way along, filled with various alpine flowers. And below are the white foxgloves that I love and seed themselves everywhere. More white foxgloves there. And the red cornflower, uh, Patty's plume poppy, and the plume thistles. A willow behind uh, was given to me by a friend in Kelso. And here we have the euphorbia along the wall, little low wall. Uh, I think it's called Myrtle Spurge. And sets off at this time of the year. Here we have planters with orchids and double white anemones coming off. There is a meant to be hidden pot of potatoes growing. Pulmonaria. Self-sown violets and ladies' bonnets. Can't remember their name. Lilies growing held up with birch twigs. A da uh, Victoria plum, a patio one, because the dogs will eat our Victoria plums from the big tree. A lovely red rhododendron that someone gave us years ago and has now tripled or quadrupled in size. Looking down the apple walk is the wonderfully pruned apples. A still bit on the right and a flower bed with self-seeded, well I sowed them, put in sticks of willow. And I've got Miss Wilmot's ghost there and hydrangeas and nautia to come. A rugosa bed filled with three different coloured rugosas. The summer house, which is wonderful for storing apples and onions. They seem to like the wooden frame rather than the stone, cold stone sheds. And here are the forget-me-nots self-seeded from last year. I keep them and let them die back and then shake all the seeds out when I'm pulling them out. We had five Gatoniasters along there but have taken three out uh, which has given us a much better view of the inside of the salt out bed. With the excordia, I think it's called and the red primulas just beginning to come out. Epimedium, which I love and have grown bigger and bigger. Astilbes. Blue pulmonaria, which is now over. More raven's wood. Here is a Valerian officinalis, which has seeded itself everywhere. It grows about five foot high with wonderful white flowers. My sister and I go on holidays every year, except for this year, unfortunately, um, to look at gardens. And this came from a wonderful garden down in the north of England. The Ravenswood seeds itself, and I take great care not to dig out the seeds. There's a small one I'll try and show you in behind, which is coming. Hostas will grow and fill hopefully some of the gaps from the weeds.
raised beds, which have got leeks and onions. The white stops the um, birds picking up the onions and warms the soil. And the second raised bed is full of French beans and lettuces. And there is a raspberry cage, which my son and husband built for me because the birds love the raspberries. Um, so you see the paths all the way to and from the summer house, an oyster catcher we found in the shop in Mull to try and make oyster catchers come here, but they don't quite. And there's a blue tit on the top of the twisted hazel, which is in that bird box just beside us on the Circipidian.